I've completed draft of the week one and now it's time to complete draft of the week two. I did have a little bit of a bad experience with this draft because I was so close many times. I was one chemistry off and I needed a La Liga goalie the next time. Tip number one, the Tottenham players. Now after you choose a captain, make sure you choose a striker because you are guaranteed to get Harry Kane because the man has a lot of cards including a center forward card. The second Tottenham player you should be looking out for is Sun. Due to his higher rating, Sun is more likely to pop than other Tottenham midfielders and due to him having cards in various different positions, you have more chances of getting him. Tip number two, the best formations. Now as you can see in the challenge, not only do you require the two Tottenham players, but you also require six leagues and eight clubs, so you're gonna need a very linkable formation to do this. And through experience, I found out a few of them which are actually easy to link in. Taking into account the CDM requirement, these are the best formations. We have the 4 triple 2 second variation, we have the 4 2 3 1 which is a personal favorite of mine, we have the 4 3 3 the third variation, and a 4 5 1 which doesn't have a CDM but it is good for links. Because you require 8 clubs, the third tip is avoid club links. Instead of going for club links, try to go for league and nation links instead. And finally here is the draft I used to claim this card, yes I relied on a lot of icons, I mean two, and another tip, go for Spanish players because there's one in almost every league. And we have claimed our card, 1.2 million coins to go with it and 60 tokens. Not bad. And it's time for him to, I don't think you can call this a walkout, but it's time for him to show up baby and I will be showing you the VS stats right after this, let's just watch this through. And there he is. I don't think his attacking is going to be high because he has 79 shots on this card. And here are his stats for his baby card. 91 defending, 90 control and 83 attacking. Not as much as his mid card but that makes sense. Ok guys that's the end of the video and that means that there's only one Edgar Davids card left to complete and I will be completing this card, it doesn't look that difficult. It looks more based on luck but you know what, I will complete it and I will give you all the tips and help that you need to complete this card. And until then, goodbye.